Welcome to our tutorial about writing a simple program. At this point, we're going to put together what we've learned so far in our course on VBA. Let's begin by selecting Insert from the main menu and then User Form. Now let's drag a label here. Let's resize it a little. The next control we'll drag over is a button. Now we'll select the form. For the name property, let's enter hello and tab. Let's assign an appropriate name, LBL Hello. I want it to be blank when the form is activated, so let's leave the caption field blank. And tab. Now let's align the text to the center. Let's check how it looks first. Tab. You see the text aligned in the center. The properties work as follows. One aligns the text to the left, two is centered, and three is right justified. Let's change the font size. We'll make it 12 and bold. And let's delete the caption text. Now let's look at our button. We'll rename it. Let's call it BTN Click Me. Let's enter a caption. The caption will say Click Me. And same for the control tip text. Now we're ready to write some code. Double click on the button to get into code view. Here are our wrapper lines. Let's enter some code to be executed when the button is clicked. LBL, hello, dot. A couple things I want to point out here. First, I didn't enter an uppercase H, even though my label contained an uppercase H. Visual Basic is not really case sensitive. The period indicates to Visual Basic that a property of the label will be coming next. When I start typing, a list of properties appears. This list becomes filtered as I continue typing. Press Tab to select the correct option. Space, equal sign, and another space. And then the text, inside quotation marks, open quotation, hello user, and close quotation. We finished our statement. Notice that Visual Basic changed the lowercase h to an uppercase h. What will happen here when I click the Click Me button, the caption property of the label LBL Hello will store the string Hello User. The quotation marks before and after my characters indicate that this is a string. Let's run our application. When I click on the button, the text Hello User appears on the label. With the Click Me button still selected here, Let's choose double click from the drop down menu on the right. A second shell appears, hard return. Now I'll copy this code, right click, copy, right click, and paste. Let's replace this text with double click. That'll be the name of this event to distinguish it when the program is executed. Let's run our program again. Now when I click once, we see Hello User. When I click a second time, I see the new text that I just typed. Let's get out of runtime and write some code for one more event. Mouse down, for example. My shell appears. Let's paste in the previous code that's still stored in my cache. We're going to replace the text again. We'll replace it with mouse down. Oops, I selected the wrong event here. Okay, let's delete all of this. Select mouse down. Now let's paste the code. Right click. And paste. And we'll change this caption text here to mouse down. 
Let's run our application again to see how it works. Now when I press down on my mouse button, I see the mouse down message. My next event should be the mouse release or the click. And here is the hello user message. Let's return to design time. Let's write code for one more event. This time I'm going to use the event mouse up. Let's paste my previous code. Right click, paste. We'll change the caption property to mouse up. And let's run our application again. Now when I click the mouse button down, I get the mouse down message. When I release the mouse, I get the hello user message. As you may have guessed, we have two simultaneous events, the mouse up and the mouse click. They get executed at the same time. But if I press the mouse button down, drag it over the click me button, and then release it elsewhere, not over the button, but at another place in the window, the mouse up event is executed. This is one example of a logical issue you'd need to watch out for to make your program user-friendly, easy to work with. Fortunately, Visual Basic is much friendlier than many other languages. For example, you might have remembered earlier that I didn't type an uppercase H in my label name. Visual Basic changed it for me automatically. Another example. I can actually remove the caption property here. Visual Basic still recognizes that the hello user string belongs to the caption property. Let's check it out when I run the program. See, the text still displays. However, it's definitely a good idea to avoid shortcuts like this. And this concludes our tutorial on writing a simple program.